So what do you do when you find this cool plate at Tuesday morning and they're going out of business and you want to do something with this? First you make kind of a draft drawing of how you can get the scanning cut to cut something like this. So now I have the more completed drawing and we're going to go ahead and scan that. So we press a scan to cut data, press that, and we tell it OK, and we get it scanning into the system. And it looks like this, and we're going to do an inside-outside cut, and we're going to look at the processing on that, and then we're going to save it. Okay, and here it is on our, it's kind of hard to see the screen sometimes in the afternoons, and I've loaded up a dark blue, uh, kind of a hard card, card stock. I put in my mat. Remember, it's the DX mat. It has a little notch. I'm going to say OK. We're going to say OK. Please select. We're going to say cutting. It's going to process that and tell us it's a five minute cut. Since it's card stock, I'm thinking that the one is going to be OK down here. I'm putting the foot down to one or the deck whatever word you want to call it there's all kinds of words for it i'm going to say start it says mat's not loaded but you can see that mat's loaded so sometimes this happens on the dx let's give it a try okay now it feels that mat sometimes it just needs to feel it and it's starting to cut Okay, and we'll begin pulling this out and weeding this out for you. I realized that dark green color was too big, so I ended up doing a lighter green. I cut on a lighter green and did a little bit smaller size. Okay, and here's one version of a finished product, Beach Bums. Kind of a primitive. Here's the stencil. It's still in good shape. It could be used many, many, many times. And then the last step is putting the sign up in our booth at an antique store. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.